Today we are going to be taking a look at the new MyZone switch. Uh, up until right now I've been using the MZ3. I really like that one, but um, I really like how versatile this one seems to be, so let's give it a try. Um, first thing I notice is it has this little faceplate, just pops really easily in and out. Um, so you can use these different bands. This one is the forearm band. Um, they've got a watch band, and then this is the one so you can do chest to. Um, one really nice thing about this one is you can use it for swimming as well. Not a big deal for me. I am a nose plugger and doggy paddler, but <laughs> I think that would be a cool feature for uh, some. But um, as, as you can see here, it just pops right in. So I popped it into the watch band. Um, it's got these little... Uh, buttons here that can plug right into the chest band too. So super easy, versatile, and uh, let's give it a try. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, the chest one works just like the uh, old one where you have to wet these sensors since this part is not actually making contact. Same exact thing here. You put the, uh, the uh, sensor on there and then these are what actually detects your heart rate. All right, instructions say for the wrist, you need to press and hold this button. There we go, turned on just like they promised. Let's give it a shot. Quick little tip for you, um, don't be like me and just try this right before your workout because they have a software update that you need to do before you can get started, so I am patiently waiting to do my workout. Okay, after the software update, I had to turn the watch back on. Just turned it on, it synced with my phone. I'm going to do a quick 20 minute high intensity interval training workout. So you should see spikes of uh, high intensity and then a little bit lower as we go through the workout. Okay, we're halfway through this workout. So just for the sake of comparison, I took it off of my wrist, moved it to my forearm so we can test it out. I'm going to repeat the exact same workout that I've done so we can compare. All right, workout is done. Now I'm going to compare the results of the wrist and forearm to a very similar workout I did last week, which was on my chest. As you can see, I've got the results of the MZ3 workout on the left and the switch workout on the right. Very, very similar. Um, I started out a little bit lower and gets a little higher intensity as we go. Um, as far as the average heart rate and peak heart rate go, almost identical. They're done on different days, so I expect some variance, but overall, very, very close. This is my Samsung watch that I normally wear. Uh, I find it to be super accurate. And so just to compare, I wore the switch with it um, on my run yesterday and results were almost identical. So I definitely trust that it is giving us the right results. Um, also, the switch has a really good battery life. They say up to six months. This one I charge every night. So that is one other super nice feature. The consensus after giving this thing a test run, I really liked it and uh, I've never been a fan of having sensors on my chest. I did it because it seems to be more accurate, uh, but after comparing the results, it seems to be really similar. So uh, me personally, I think I would prefer to go with the wrist, but uh, it's cool that they have the different options because different people like different things. So forearm might be more comfortable for other people or some people might stick to the chest, but in any case, it's super, super easy. Just pop this little part out right here and uh, you can pick and choose where it goes. So two thumbs up for me.